Yo, what's up guys, Sam here. Welcome back to another video, uh, or should I say welcome back to the future because it's something that I never thought we would actually see on iOS 13. iOS 13.7 is out, hooray, this is so exciting. So the changelog, I've gotten a couple different variants. Um, this one leads you to believe that there are new Memoji stickers and iCloud folder sharing, uh, which is actually not true. There is literally only one new feature in iOS 13.7, and while it's arguably a big one, uh, it's a, uh, I don't know, I should say it's a work in progress that could be really cool, but that uh, is sort of the fault of government entities dragging their feet, at least here in the US. So if you're excited for this video, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and uh, let's go ahead and jump into iOS 13.7. So in iOS 13.5, Apple added this new feature called Exposure Notifications, uh, and you can see it is now highlighted in iOS 13.7 in a very prominent tab. Before, it was hidden under privacy and health or sharing, and that's now a front level feature. So even in the iOS settings app, Apple's really not letting you forget that you should wear your mask when you go outside because uh, the world's still not back to normal and we have no idea when it exactly will be. And while that has been moved to the forefront, Apple's also introduced something called express mode for exposure notifications. So before, uh, a government entity was responsible for creating and developing an app that would then tie into this API. So you would basically be waiting on your government, your state, your local offices to like issue this application, develop it. And um, honestly, it was pretty unrealistic because like if it takes, I don't know, a really long time to get my license in the mail, I doubt they could actually develop and ship an app before the end of a pandemic. I was just always really impressed that like that was actually going to be achievable. And it turns out, of course, it really wasn't. So now in iOS 13.7, which Apple just dropped today, if you go ahead and tap on continue here, you can go through and Apple's got sort of an automated express system. So I'm going to tap on my country, which is, uh, you know, not doing the greatest right now overall as far as the pandemic goes. Right now I'm chilling in Missouri and you can see, unfortunately, it's still not available yet. However, uh, the good news is that it is way easier. So it's essentially like an opt-in for local health authorities that they don't need to make an app anymore. So they can like opt into the system. Uh, sort of enable it for where you live, and then it can start working. And of course, you're like, well, I'm not going to be checking back here every day. So Apple has a cool feature called availability alerts where they will actually notify you and sort of fill you in as to what is going on as far as when there's going to be something released. For some backstory on this, Apple has actually partnered up with Google. And uh, while Google's update is coming out a little bit later in September, Apple actually rushed this out, which may lead you to question, well, Wait a second, uh, isn't it September? Doesn't iOS 14 usually drop? Like, it's September 1st. When is iOS 14 actually coming? Logically, you would say, well, if Apple just released a, a relatively like large sounding 13.7 update on September 1st, then there's no way iOS 14 is coming anytime soon. Like, why wouldn't Apple just wait and, and bundle it in? But iOS 14 is actually right around the corner. According to Mark Gurman, who has an incredibly good track record, more than 85% accurate. While iOS 14.1 will probably be the firmware to ship on the new iPhones when they drop in October, uh, iOS 14.0 is actually coming out for everybody soon, sometime later this month. Generally, it happens between like the second and third weeks, and of course, new products have been rumored to be coming sometime soon, like a new Apple Watch and even a couple of new iPads. So keep your eyes peeled. Of course, I'll keep you updated as far as iOS 14, but I do find it fascinating that Apple felt it's so important to push this update out right now uh, rather than waiting for iOS 14 in like a week or two. A very unprecedented move, I guess, for kind of an unprecedented time. You might also think maybe there were some security changes, but no, that is also blank here too. Uh, this is the story of iOS 7, the, the better exposure notifications login. I'm really, really excited for what happens with this. It's just like, is this really going to be happening overnight before iOS 14 drops? And of course, iOS 14 supports the same functionality. But uh, now we've got on iOS 13, uh, seven major releases to iOS 13, three of which would not have happened without a, a global pandemic. Weird to think about that, that it has even influenced our iPhones that heavily. All right, guys, that's all I've got for you in this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something new. If you did, drop a like down below, hit subscribe for more, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video, 13.7. It's here to stay, well, for at least a couple of weeks.